Hey everybody, what's up? It's your favorite computer Bobby, and I'm joined here today by my assistant Buckethead. Hi, everybody. No wait. My name isn't Buckethead, it's Rusty. My bad dude. I get confused sometimes. I will do better at remembering your name Bucket, or I mean Rusty. Thank you. Now on with the lesson. Today we will begin talking about a fun subject. PSP, PS3, or the Wii? I love video games. Not video games, even though I love video games too. My mom is the princess in the Mario Brothers games. Really? No, I just love to joke around. Could you imagine coming into Mr. Wade Swift's and Mr. Miller's IT class and playing video games all day? That would be great. Do you really think they would be willing to have the class be like that? No, they aren't that cool. I mean they probably don't even know what Xbox 360 is. Just kidding guys. I know that you like video games. But wait we are off topic. Back to... Watch out. No 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 no. Get out of the way. What are you doing? I'm imagining playing video games in class. Oh brother, you truly are a bucket head. Stop calling me that. It hurts my feelings. Why? Because it reminds me of my dad. What? He was turned into a bucket. Why? He was recycled. Ha 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 ha. Wow, thought all computers were supposed to be smart. Ha, I showed you that you don't know everything. No wait, you said what? Never mind we need to focus on the lesson. Well what is it then? You spend too much time talking about nothing. Really? You are lecturing me? No, wait there you go again diverting the conversation. He 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 he. Focus. We are going to be talking about web browsers. You mean those hairy things above your eyes? Good grief. Really? No a web browser is a program that helps you view web pages. The most popular browsers are Internet Explorer, Netscape Navigator, Firefox, and Safari. In this class, we are going to use Internet Explorer. Explorer, for short. Once you know how to use Explorer, it's a cinch to learn how to use the other web browsers because they are so similar to Explorer. How do we get one of those browser thingies? Well for most people you run Explorer, double click on the icon on your desktop that looks like a blue E shown below in the lesson. What does the Explorer icon do? You can also run Explorer by single clicking on the blue E on the Windows task for usually at the bottom of your desktop. Again look at the picture in this lesson. What happens when you double click on this icon? Well, when you double click, Explorer opens, you will see a menu and toolbar. Note especially the address box shown below. That's the spot where you type in the internet address you want to go to. The address shown is for the St. Petersburg Times. Now look at the Internet Explorer toolbar. Now type in sptimes.com in your own Explorer address box. Once you type in the address in the address box, there are two ways to actually get to the address. Either press the enter key or click on go at the right of the address box. What happens if I already have a new URL address in the window? Good question. Thanks. I still wish we were playing video games. Focus would you? After arriving at the St. Petersburg Times site, you can easily go to a new site. Move your mouse cursor over the Times address in the address box. Your cursor should turn into an arrow. Now left click. The times address in the address box should turn blue as shown below. You can also make the times address blue by pointing your mouse cursor at the end of the times address. Then left click and hold your clicker down as you drag your mouse over the times address. This click and drag technique is the usual way you select text in a Windows program. Either way, just clicking or clicking and dragging should leave the times address blue ready to be replaced with the old address blue just type in a new address and it will go right over the old one once you have made an address blue in explorer's address box you do not have to use your keyboard's delete key to get rid of it 
Typing a new address will automatically delete the old address and replace it with the new one. Use movies.aol.com as your new address. That is the address of a movie information site. You can use it to look up movies playing in your local theaters. It gives you information on movie times and links to reviews. Wow, this is great. I always waste time pressing the backspace key. Man, I could be saving so much time now. Yes, you can. Now if you want to get back to the previous web page, click on the back button on the Explorer toolbar at the top of the page. Then too. Return to the site you were on before you click the back button, click on the forward button. Man, this is so easy even I can do it. I know these smart 6th graders can do it. Don't you Mr. Wade Swift and Mr. Miller? I think so too. So why not have them do something that shows the knowledge that they have gained today? Great idea. I'm surprised that you came up with it. Sometimes I even surprise myself. So what shall they do? Well, how about this? Using the browser of your choice, go to the five website addresses listed by the teacher. The challenge will be to type in the URL addresses, which is short for Uniform Resource Locators. One wrong letter, and you will not get to your destination. Capitalization counts, so don't use lowercase when uppercase is shown. On a Word document, type the URL of each site, the title of each site as it appears in the browser's title bar, and a couple of sentences describing the content of the site. If an address doesn't work, no matter how carefully you type it, just type the page cannot be displayed. Your teachers have done an example for you. Have fun with the assignment. I am going to play on my PlayStation. <laughs> That's not nice, but I will join you. I heard you got the new Black Ops. I can't wait to play. Then let's make like a tree and branch. What? You mean leave? Why would it be leave when it is a tree? Never mind, see all of you later. Say bye Rusty. Bye Rusty. Oh brother, 